guys welcome and welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel i'm janet boke and if it's your very first time seeing me or stopping by into my youtube channel welcome you just can't see that guys it's the chicken I'm trying to protect its chick so welcome so much to my youtube channel i'm janet boke and if it's your first time, kindly consider subscribing. You are highly welcomed here. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for stopping by to watch my video. I appreciate it so much. Remember to like the video and comment down below what you think about the video. So guys, as you know, I went to Nyabohanse village for some time. Let me change my hand. I went to Nyabohanse village for some time. Uh, I want to meet the the YouTubers from the other side, and I um I appreciate those that I met. So, so guys, this is what I was saying before the interruption. Someone was playing the music outside. I had, I thought of just stopping him for some few minutes. So thank you so much for the YouTubers that I met at Nyabohanse. I appreciate you. I am Masubo. I appreciate you so much. I appreciate Nasto. I met Maja, but we didn't do the video. It's because people are busy, and I hope I'll I'll be visiting there soon so that at least we can catch up with them. I met I met Muta Junior, Mik Mik, yeah, to everyone that I met and the other YouTubers. There are so many I met. Uh, out of a hundred, let me say I met 40% of the YouTubers around there, even even though we didn't get time to do videos together. But I appreciate it so much to everyone that got a chance to to talk to me, to welcome me, to make me feel at home. Yeah, thank you so much, guys, and I appreciate it. And even to you who is watching me right now, I appreciate you so much for stopping by. And kindly... Comment down below what you think about my YouTube channel, what you think that I should do more. And yeah, with that will help me know what you as my audience loves watching so that I can create more content about it. Yeah, so guys, I just came home. I just reached home some few minutes ago, as you can hear. The whole compound is so quiet because people are not yet it's evening hours but people are not yet at home and i'm just around so i decided that as i take my rest around here in the compound i should at least share with you what i learned from nyabohanse village where i am maro is coming from dimwango uh, cloud joseph masubo nasto maja and so many others so i felt like i should at least share with you what I've met. As you can see, I'm just in in our compound. This is where our cows sleep. I don't know if it's clear. You can see. Uh, yeah, this is the door to the place where they sleep. You see here, they pass from there, and that's the the door to the outside part of the compound. I think I should just show you quickly, then come back. It's so. Yeah. You can see me guys to those who haven't seen me so close to the camera here is me <laughs> yeah so this is the outside part of the compound as you can see those are our neighbors cows grazing you just can't see it from the other side the sun the sun is already down so it's a bit dark and these are our cows so they sleep where that place that i've shown you and that one is the, that that one is the one taking care of them and just next to where they are grazing let me show you this is this is our kitchen garden we it's it wasn't raining for some period but now it's raining and we will be pr planting more crops here as you can see right now we only have pumpkin leaves sugar cane and how are they called how are they called they are called this is an avocado tree avocado tree and we have matoke matoke banana trees as you can see they're still growing the bananas so it's a small it's a small farm but it serves us really well and you can see on the outer side part of it we've planted flowers that is our latrine so we've planted the flowers all around around it 
Yeah, so guys, this is just but our home. As you can see, the, those are cows. These are our houses. And there's another house there being built yet. It's not yet complete. Yeah, so that's just all about our compound. You can see it from there. Can you see it, guys? Yeah. So as I was saying, I was saying that I visited Nyabohansi village and I really learned a lot. Should we go back in or take a walk around? Let's just take a walk around or just stand here at the gate. So that's our gate, guys. That's our gate. To whoever is watching my videos for the first time, that's our gate. So here is just but our home. Just a simple home praying that one day we'll change all the situation. Of course, it's not that bad because at least we have shelter, we have somewhere, a space to relax, we have cows, we have a small farm over there. Yeah, and we appreciate God for everything. But as we go on, may God give us strength, health, wealth, not wealth, health, to keep on going. Even, even wealth, why am I saying not wealth? Health and wealth. So that you can keep going maybe at some point i can build our parents a better home than this yeah or at least i can give it a good fence and a good gate better than that i know you are hearing some few noise from around it's because it's evening time and here in the village evening time is when is where they they put their cows outside so that they can graze freely and yeah so it's a lot of movement compared to that video that i did early in the morning and this one you can feel a lot of noise around so that is the that is the difference so guys i think i'm talking so much at least i should tell you what i learned from nyabohansi village then yeah so one thing i learned about nyabohansi village is how hardworking everyone is more so to the YouTubers. Those people really work hard. They do content day after day. Uh, they're really doing amazing work from the other side. Yeah? Yeah, so that's one thing I learned about them. You know? They put more effort in everything they do. So they, they really work hard. Work hard and smart. Yeah, so that's one thing I learned about them. And another thing I learned about those people is that they really have a, a respect for each other. They respect, of course, you'll find a few who don't respect themselves or each other. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess my hand is appearing on the camera. Yeah, so whatever I'm trying to say that they respect each other so much. They respect each other's privacy, each other's time, each other's content yeah so they really respect each other that much and something else that i learned about those people is that they really have they are they are persistent in everything that they do i'm just looking at this at something down here it's our dog so it's it's a little bit disrupt disrupting me yeah so like they're so persistent in everything that they do they they like it's consistent even their content they do it maybe daily or they just keep a day and do a content another day they do another content so that's one thing i learned about them yeah and what else did i learn about those people those people those people really are creative they are so creative why am i being distracted with things around <laughs> Yeah, so they are, they are so creative. They they create amazing content. Let me just go back. So guys, I prefer the noise coming from the cows, my na my neighbor's cows, as you can see them from there, than the music that comes from outside our gate, from that gate. You see that gate, the iron sheet gate. So I prefer this one because this can won't have any copyright than the one that's coming from there so i guess i'm gonna sit just here so that i can talk to you without any uh, interruption yeah so guys whatever i was telling you is that i went to nyabohanse i learned some few things from there 
and I've already told you that I, I learned how re they respect each other, how persistent they are with whatever they do. And again, what else have I told you that I've learned? I've learned that they are consistent with their cre creation of content, creativity. They are so creative. How they create their content is amazing. I really wish I can tag all, all of them. I don't know if I can. I don't know. You know I'm new to, on YouTube, but I'm learning more things. And yeah, those, I'm just sharing with you the few things like that uh, to the people that I met there, I learned from there. You know? So guys, that's what I just wanted to tell you. And yeah, I met Ayamaro, but we didn't like talk. He was passing by with a motorbike. And I get, I just got to say hi, and I really wish I'll meet him one day. And yeah, maybe we can create content. You know, he's on on a, another level than where I am. Maybe even, yeah. But I really hope one day we'll meet for some more content or something. But yeah, that's what I learned from them. And the fact that they welcomed me warmly, they made me feel at home. We walked with them in their village and everyone was was wanted to appear on the camera which is not something that i'm used to here in our village it was so nice it was so nice meeting people from the other side i wish i could stay longer but you know i have to come home i'm a lady i'm not yet married i'm still under my parents hands so every time i i go out i have to tell them i'm going and when i come back i have to say I have to tell them they they have to give me a certain time so and you know they 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 are not yet aware of how youtube works that someone has to go out look for content has to show everything their daily life how everything runs here in the village so as time goes i hope they'll understand maybe you'll have to meet them here in the in the video in one of my videos yeah, so that is it for now. I guess I really don't. Nasto taught me or told me that I should at least create longer videos, which is good because people get to know, to hear more when you have longer videos. But for the start, uh, I guess I'll just do the short videos. And as time goes, as I learn more from them, how to edit, how to... To do everything on youtube i'll continue i'll practice more of what they taught me from the other side yeah guys so and one thing again i've learned from those people is unity those people are so united like this they are so you when like when i want to meet nasto i met uh, at the same point i met muta junior i met maja i met so many people, like I can't even name all of them because it was my first time meeting some of them. Of course, I watched them on my YouTube channel, but we were, we were, were not so close. So, yeah, it was really amazing. I, really, I already miss being around in Yabuhanse village, but I hope, I hope I'll meet them again soon, you know? Yeah, so right now we are starting to create content from my village how things run actually not like sitting down and thinking about the content anything that i do and the, it allows me to show you i'll show you if it's cooking if it's going to the river because that that is our daily routine here we go to the river to wash clothes or to get water we cook using firewood and pots and everything i'll show you that yeah so for now i'm just i just came home i'm resting i don't have a lot to say i just wanted to before doing anything else i wanted to share with you what i learned from there and what i experienced from there and of course there's a very there's a like out of a hundred percent there are 70 percent difference in our culture so most of the, how they do a lot of things if you haven't watched how the difference between their culture and ours go watch it on nasto's youtube channel it's the, his youtube channel is called it's nasto so go watch that we talked about our culture and i got to learn different things from their culture compared to our culture so guys 
that is it for now i guess i don't have anything else to tell you and see you on the next one see you on the next one as we see what to do next wh what content to create and you guys can also tell me what you think i should talk about in the channel because now it's a free space and you're my audience and i love you so much everyone to everyone who have subscribed and to anyone who's stopping by to watch my video i appreciate it so much i appreciate it so much continue supporting me comment down below tell me what you think about everything around my channel like what do you think we should add or what what do you think we should minimize you know yeah so that is it for now and see you on the next one bye